Hey guys, it's Grace Allergist here and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be coming to you guys with a DIY Ankara throw pillow tutorial. So if you'd like to know how I made these pillows, keep on watching. So here's a quick look at the materials that I used. I used classic fiber film that I got from Michaels, but I'm sure you can find it at Walmart. Of course, I have my Ankara material. I had six, yard, six yards. You don't need that much. Definitely don't need that much, but I just had it in case I wanted to make something else with it. Um, of and I also had this sewing kit, um, which had the needles and the thread, which you'll need, and Velcro, which is optional. Some people I see, see um, sew up the whole pillow, but I chose to use Velcro in case um, my pillows get flat, which I hate flat pillows, and I can always open it back up and put more filling inside. So here I am just folding the material in half because I want to make sure to cut out two pieces of material. One for the front of the pillow, one for the back, and I'm cutting it to the, this uh, around a little bigger than my desired length. Just because of the way that I'm going to sew the material is going to take up some space. So in here I cut the material 20 by 20 inches, but again cut to your whatever desired length that you want. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. Um, I even saw videos of people making shapes. I'm not at that point yet, but once I figure that out, I'm going to put up a video for you guys. But yeah, um, I, I'm just cutting out my material, I'm making sure that it's a half so that I can cut out, um, so that I'm cutting out basically two pieces at once. So this is what you should have now, the front of the pillow and the back of the pillow, two different um, cutouts of the material. So now I'm just lining up the material together so that I can begin to sew. And I'm making sure that the inside of the material are what's facing out and the outside of it is facing in. So what I don't want to show are facing out and what I do want to show are facing in. And I'm taking my thread and I already looped in my, I'm sorry, I'm taking my needle and I already looped in my thread. And use your discretion with this on how much thread you need. You can always go back and add more thread. And I'm just gonna begin to sew. And I'm not a professional sewer, I don't do this for a living, um, but I just go in and out, in and out with the thread. And it seems to work for me. I'm pretty sure <laughs> it's the right way, but I mean, if you know a better strategy, then you can definitely try that. But I'm just keeping it simple and I'm just going in and out with the thread. And I'm making sure that I'm pulling the thread all the way on each side. So you want to make sure that you, as you keep sewing, you sew three sides of the material. Only three sides. You're going to leave the, the, the left side empty, but make sure you sew all three sides of the material. Once you're done sewing, it should look like this. So three sides are of the material are sewn. The left, the right, the top. And then the bottom of the material should be able to open like this because it's not sewn. And on this material, you're actually gonna sew on the Velcro. Now with these, this end that's still um, unsewn, I'm taking it and I'm kind of folding it. You don't have to worry about your ends looking pretty or whatever because it's not going to show. But I'm folding it so that I can sew on a piece of the Velcro. So I'm taking the top and I'm lining up the Velcro and I want it to have like a long strip um, of Velcro there. Um, so I'm, I'm taking that and you can use a pin to hold it down and I'm just lining up where I want the Velcro. So I'm going to fold the top and attach the velcro and then I'm also going to fold the bottom and attach the velcro and this is what it should look like again I'm not the best sewer but this is <laughs> it's good enough and it will last so yes I've already sewn on the velcro here and now once you open that you can begin to add your filling so make sure one of the sides of velcro um, not the softer part but the harder part it, the filling kind of sticks to it so you might want to fold that in while you're folding, adding the Velcro so that it's not sticking to it. So here I am just adding my filling and I'm stuffing my pillow to my desired want or my desired capacity. I'm also cutting up the filling because the way that it comes, it comes in like a big roll. I mean, I'm sure you can rip it, but I was just like, let me just cut it and I just cut it. Um, and I'm just taking it and I'm filling my, uh, my pillowcase with that.
Now when you're all done putting all of your filling inside, you can just close it. Just close your Velcro together and that's it. You have your pillow. So once you're fully finished adding all of your filling, you can begin to close your pillow by just attaching your Velcro together. And again, because I got some filling on top of that hard part of the Velcro, I'm here struggling trying to take that filling out and put it back in the pillow. But again, once you close or attach both of your um, sides of Velcro together, it should stay closed. And if your pillow looks a little deformed, that's okay. Now it's all about shaping the pillow. So just fluffing it and shaping it to your desired taste and look. And again, just fluffing your pillow. Don't beat it, don't be like me. Just show your pillow some love, be gentle. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys try it out and it's simple for you and that you're able to bring some personal touches into your home. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe and share, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.